Well, hello there again, my little star students. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, I missed you. <laughs> well, as much as I'd love to tutor you all day, I have other classes to attend, you see. Many, many classes with dull and boring, silly, stupid students that really have no brains. But at least you have brains for sure. <laughs> That's why I don't want you meddling with them. Because I know you have so much more potential, which is the reason I keep you here. You know? My little student. Oh. I hope you've been listening to the audios I've been making for you. I'll give you some quizzes on that later. It should have covered maths, English, geography, science. I'll check if you paid attention. I wouldn't mind if you take a nap in between. I'm sure it's exhausting, working so hard as you do. You always work so hard. Why is your skin red? You've been fighting the ropes, haven't you? I knew it. Oh, student, little student. I said you were clever and I said you had much potential, but you don't have as much potential as me, and you're not as smart as me. Say if someone else put you in those ropes, I'm sure you would have escaped by now. But since it's me who tied you up, you're not getting out of those ropes. <laughs> now, I have a list of paper here, and it has some things on there I want to tick off. Some very important subjects. The schools are choosing subjects they want to do now, so it's only fair I ask you. So, you need to make your options. We have... Huh? What? Aww. I mean, for me, not you. Oh, you got so excited. No, no. No, 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 no. I'm not having you mixing with that foul bunch of students again. The toxicity is really quite vulgar and high amounts of it, and I told you I don't want you mixing with that. I shall not have a toxic pupil such as yourself, you see. No, I mean options for here, dummy. Oh, I insulted you, it's so mean of me. Please excuse my rude manners. A teacher should never insult her students. <laughs> okay. So let's... Listen, listen very closely. Let's me finish and stop screaming through that cloth I've tied round your mouth, or I'll get out my ruler. Yes, I'll spank you again. I have, well, hmm, I have but only get you to hold out your hands, and then I'll spank your hands tight. Be wrapped in my ropes and watch as they go red or on the palms. Do you want that? I didn't think so. <sighs> I'll get out my cane next and that will be worse. Now, let me finish. Our options, well, your options to be precise, although I'm the one teaching them, so technically I chose different options from your usual schedule. Option one. Learn about your teacher more and get to know her. It's one option. Science, Spanish, Japanese, hair and beauty. But then I don't really trust you with scissors, so I might pass that. History. Hmm? I'm just kidding, I'm not going to give you these options, silly. The only option you're going to get is number one. Learn more about me. And I'll choose all your options. You don't even need to choose because I, I, will teach you exactly what you need to know. You don't get no option in here anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> and since you were struggling to try and escape, it just means that I'm not strict enough on my people. My little star people No, I need to be much, much more firm with you. <laughs> Much, much more fun with my style, people, you see. I am 
have this bottle. My grandmother gave it to me before she passed away. In it is her favourite scent of perfume. I tipped it all down the drain. <laughs> I didn't really care much for her, but I do smell. This is now my little bottle of chloroform. Smell again. <laughs> You're holding a breath. You are a clever student after all. See this bottle? If you misbehave, not only will you be spanked, I'm going to put you to sleep with this chloroform. This chloroform will send you into a sleep and when you wake up, you'll be in a different position, being punished. There are many various torture methods I could use. <laughs> and that will be your history lesson. We'll learn about all the different methods of torture in the historical times. There's a jaw cruncher. That one's cruel. I'll simply put your head on my desk. And it will squeeze down in the clamp on your head until it breaks your jaw. I think you would give up before that happened, though. <laughs> There's the screaming ball, where I put you inside of a metal ball. Cut out your tongue set it on fire and you'll make this unique sound the screaming bull that's another historical lesson for you and one fact is the man who created that invention was the first one to fall victim to it yes ah <laughs> <clears throat> oh, history is one of my favorite subjects Teaches you a lot about humanity. How foul it can be. And I don't want you messed up in that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're going to learn about it. And by the time I'm finished with you and you graduate from me, you'll be remarkable. I mean, you already are, but you'll be the best version of yourself you can possibly be. And you'll thank me as you graduate. You'll graduate from my basement, from the chair you're tied in. Oh, just picture it. A star pupil and her teacher learning together. Stuck with her. Maybe, just maybe, some romance will appear. <laughs> a spark of romance. And remember disobey. Your family business will crumble beneath me. <laughs> See, I told you I'm more spectacular than you in terms of smartness. My IQ is very high. I am, like I said, nowhere near that much older than you. We're practically the same age. I excelled far faster than the rest of my stupid classmates and I got my job position as a teacher and I'll use it to my fullest capabilities which I'm doing right now just sad people don't agree with my methods let me draw you an example you see this circle here inside of this one is me so I'll just draw a little initial of mine on there okay now this little circle is you I'll write your initial on there with a little heart now all these stupid little lines around us the vermin in life that are toxic and try to drag us down. Now me? All these lines around my circle is my barrier of protection from them. I'm strong. Yours started off small, but over time, 
You gained a few because of me. I am protecting you. And currently, it's gone way up. But it needs more because you need to learn why. And over time, I cross out these little vermin around us, these lines, these vermin of toxicity. They'll be gone. <laughs> and then this. Right here is a picture of your graduation cup in the future. This little smiley face is you wearing it. And there's me. There. With my hand on your shoulder. With the most happiest expression that I did my job and made you succeed. I was true as a teacher. And then this... It's the line of your life, a timeline. We'll write start here. That was when you were born. And then end of your life here. You see, you've met me in your early adulthood. So I'll put you here in early adulthood. Now, before then, I checked your grades and they were fair enough, but Notice how as soon as you hit my class in this timeline, your grades went up. Your grades fully improved once it met me. And I noticed you were taking more clubs. So the graph, this line of happiness that I'm drawing on your timeline, went up. Because you were happy with me. And it's only going to keep going up. And then at the end of your life, you would have died happy. With me. It's a perk, you see. I know you're angry now, but that's just because you don't realise the potential that I'm giving you. You don't realise how happy you will be with me. Once you know, you'll be so thankful. That's fine. I haven't punished you yet for not accepting it because I know that you will because I know you're smart. It'll just take time to set in. Don't shower away in fear. Your cheek, just above this line, this line here, on your cheek, just above the line of your gag, with the cloth focus into the chair. And I'll pull your gag down. never do this in our usual teacher setting at the school, so it's only fair I do it here. I'll kiss your wrist better. I'm sure the ropes restraining your wrists really sting where you've tried fighting them. I'll take good care of you, don't worry. I'll give you all the quizzes, everything you need. Trust me. You'll excel and you'll be the best version of yourself with me. I'm sure you're starving. I'll go cook us some dinner. A nice healthy one, healthy for the brain. And I'll read to you. Hmm, what shall I read to you? I'm not going to read you any fantasy. Non-fiction sounds good. I'll read to you more about Henry VIII. I'm sure it's good for you to learn some English history. <laughs> I'll be right back. 